Welcome to JS Online Tuitions. Today in accounts, we'll be looking at the sales day book. So the sales day book is also referred to as the sales journal. Uh, to give you the definition of the sales day book, is defined as a book of original entry that records credit transactions that are obtained from copies of invoices that are issued to debtors before posting to the ledger in order of debts. In this definition, I'm going to put it on the whiteboard so that you can follow through. So I've says the sales day book, sales day book is the book of original entry that is obtained from copies of invoices issued to debtors before posting to the ledger before posting to the ledger in order of dates. So when goods have been bought by the buyer on credit from the seller, the seller is going to send a document to the buyer. And this document is going to show full details of the goods and it's going to show the number of goods that have been bought on credit and it's going to show the prices of those goods. So that document is referred to as an invoice. And to the buyer, it is referred to as the purchaser's invoice. And to the seller, it is referred to as the sales invoice. So I've said when goods when goods have been bought on credit by the buyer from the seller The seller is going to send is going to send a document showing full details of goods bought and their prices and I have said that this document is referred to as an invoice so this document is called an invoice so this invoice from the uh, from the buyer it is referred to as the purchases invoice and from the seller side, it is referred to as the sales invoice. So the same invoice from the buyer there, we can say it is referred to as the purchases invoice. And from the seller side, it is referred to as the sales invoice. So when goods have been bought by the buyer on credit, the seller is going to give the buyer an original invoice. That means that the seller is going to remain with carbon copies. So when writing down the sales day book, uh, us as the company, we are going to use the information that is obtained from carbon copies of the sales invoice. So that's the point that you, you need to take into consideration. All the details that are recorded in the sales deal book, the information is, is obtained from carbon copies uh, of the sales invoice since the original goes with the buyer. So the information, so information 
recorded in the sales day book is obtained from carbon copies carbon copies of the sales invoice so this is uh, the definition and the introductory part of the sales day book now we need to take into consideration what we need to take into place when making entries in the sales day book and in the sales ledger so the considerations that we need to put in place so say making entries making entries in the sales day book and sales ledger So let us now look at making entries in the sales day book and in the sales ledger. So information in the sales day book is recorded. And after recording the information, you are going to find the total. And that, to that total is going to show the credit sales for that period. Then after you record that in the sales day book, for each personal account in the sales ledger, that means that those personal accounts have to be debited. The reason why they have to be debited because the debtors will be receiving the amounts of goods and those goods are not paid for. Since we have said the uh, sales day book records credit transactions. So for example, I'll give an example. We have uh, this company and this company is owned by Musa. This is just a short example to give you a, cl a clarity why the personal accounts have to be debited. So Musa, for example, sells uh, goods on credit to Hamlet. So sells goods to Hamlet on credit. And that means that Hamlet there is the debtor. The owner of the business is Musa. So this amount, for example, if it is 100 kwacha, this amount is going to be shown in the uh, sales day book as 100 kwacha. But in the personal account of Hamlet, it's going to be shown on the debit side. Because Hamlet is receiving worthy of goods of 100, but is not paying for those goods. So that's what I mean when I say like the personal accounts in the sales ledger, they are going to be debited. Then the total credit sales in the sales account in the general ledger is going to be credited. So that's how the entries can be made in the sales day book and making entries in the sales ledger. Let us now look at this example that we're going to find. So let us look at this example. The example reads, this information was obtained from the books of Musa for the month of September 2023. So the first transaction occurred on the 1st of September, sold goods to Ben amounting to 20 kwacha, sales invoice 150, on the 4th, sold goods to Robert amounting to 20 kwacha, sales invoice 152. On the 21st, sold goods to Lubunda amounting to 40 kwacha, sales invoice 155. So from this information, we are supposed to record the sales day book. We are also supposed uh, to record the personal accounts. And after we record the personal accounts, we are supposed to show the sales account. Okay, so we are going to start with the format of the sales day book. So this is the format. So in the first column, we have date. In the second column, we have details. In the third column, we have invoice number. Then in the fourth column, we have folio. And in the last column, we have invoice amount. So the first thing that you're supposed to do when recording the sales day book is to put up the title. So the title, we're going to have Musa Sales Day Book. For the month, the month 
of September. The month of September 2023. And we have the first transaction here. It occurred on the 1st of September and it read, sold goods to Ben amounting to 20 quarter sales invoice 150. So that's the first transaction. So here we can see our 2023 first transaction occurred on the 1st of September. In the details column, we are going to put uh, the we are going to put the data there, which is Ben, and the amount there it's 20 kwacha. So we are going to put the amount there 20 kwacha. So in the sales invoice, the sales invoice we have been told it's 150. So we we'll put 150 there. Then in the folio, in the folio you are going to record the ledger where it's going to. Since we are looking at the sales deal book, that means that this amount has to go to the sales ledger. So you, you are going to write SL. Then for the second transaction, sold goes to Robert amounting to 20 kwacha sales invoice 152. So on the 4th of September, here we are going to say Robert our sales invoice is 152. We're going to say sales ledger 20 kwacha. The last transaction on the 21st sold goes to Lowunda amounting to 40 kwacha sales invoice 155. So on the 21st of September, sold goes to Lowunda. So we'll say Lowunda. The sales, uh, the invoice number is 155. We'll say the sales ledger there. 40 kwacha. So there we are going to find the total. So we we'll say 20 plus 20 plus 40, that's 80. So our answer is going to be 80. And the date there, we're going to show it at the end of the month, which is the 1st of September. Then in the details there, we're going to say total credit sales. Total credit sales. And this amount has to be shown in the general ledger. So we'll put GL to show general ledger. Then the next thing we have to post these amounts in the uh, we have to post this amount in, in the sales ledger. So we are supposed to prepare the sales ledger. And you have said that in the personal accounts, each amount is going to be debited uh, for the data there. And that I mean this way. So for example, our first data there we have been. So we we'll say been there. We're going to say date details folio or debit or credit. And the transaction for Ben occurred on the 1st of September. So there we can say 2023, 1st of September. And in our details there, we're going to put sales. Sales there. And each amount I've said in the, uh, for the personal account is going to be debited. So we are going to debit 20 kwacha. And the reason why we are debiting 20 kwacha in the, in the account for Ben because Ben is receiving goods worth 20 kwacha. And these goods were uh, sold to Ben on credit. That means that he did not pay uh, cash immediately. That means he's just receiving those goods. Then we'll go to the second one. We'll do the same for the account of Robert. So date, details, folio, debit, credit. And the transaction for Robert occurred on the 4th of September. So 4th of September, we'll say sales, we'll debit that amount, 20 kwacha. Then the last one is for Lowunda and it occurred on the 21st of September.
So we'll say Lubunda 2023. That's going to be 21st of September. We we'll say sales will debit that amount, which is 40 kwacha. Then when you are done putting up these transactions, that means that you need to find the total. So you're also supposed to find the balance spread down and the balance carried down. So for us to find those information, uh, in the account of Ben there, our total there, we can record 20 on the debit side and 20 on the credit side. And we'll say balance carried down. The balance carried down is going to be shown on the credit side there as 20. Then the balance brought down is going to be shown on the debit side as 20. We'll go in the account of Robert. Our total is there, we're also going to have 20, 20. Our balance carried down is going to be shown on the credit side as 20. Then the balance brought down is going to be shown on the debit side as 20. Then the account for Lubunda there, our total we're going to have 40 on the debit side and 40 on the credit side. That means that the balance carried down is going to be shown on the credit side as 40 and the balance brought down is going to be shown on the debit side as 40. And you have seen we have prepared the sales day book and the sales ledger. So that's how we can prepare this. Where you have questions, please ask in the group. Let us now prepare the uh, general ledger that shows uh, the sales account. So let us now prepare the general ledger and in the general ledger, we're going to show the sales account. In the general ledger, we're going to obtain it from the question that we had or from the information that we have put up. So we have put up Musa sales day book for the month of September 2023. We have also shown sales ledger there. And in the sales ledger, we have shown the data's account. So for us to write down the sales, uh, the general ledger, have written the sales account. And this sales account, they are for the company. I've already recorded uh, the year there. The year that we're using is 2023. So in the details there, the thing that you're going to put, you're going to put total credit sales. So this total credit sales is going to show the amount of goods that we are sold by the business on credit. So we are going to say total credit sales and this has to be recorded at the end of the month and at the end of the month there is 31st so we are going to say 31st of September and this total credit sales we know that it's 80 kwacha but the question that you need to ask yourself is it going to be on the debit side or on the credit side so this amount has to be recorded on the credit side. Remember that the sales account, this is the account for Musa. And Musa was selling goods on credit to the debtors. That means that those amount of goods were going out of the business. That means that Musa was losing out. So we're going to record it on the credit side there. Then we can find our total. Our total there, we're going to put eight kwacha on the debit side and eight kwacha on the credit side. Then we can find our balance carried down there. It will be on the debit side as eight kwacha. Then the balance brought down is going to be on the credit side as eight kwacha. So that's how you can draw up the sales deal book. Where you have questions, please ask in the group. So this program has been brought to you by Josh Wale. If you want to get connected with me, you can actually check out my social media platforms. I'll meet you next time and peace and God bless.